Bangladesh has sought U.S. support to create a safe zone in Rakhine for Rohingyas with the critical international pressure on Myanmar for their safe return. Barned Feni Madrashi student Ustra Jahan Rafi's physical condition is not fit enough to move out to Singapore, says her physician. Home Minister Asadu Chiaman Khan Kamal today issued a job for a family member of firefighter Suhal Rana who died as a hero of Bonani fire tragedy. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news and friends spin within the newsroom. Today we're watching headlines, now the details. Bangladesh has sought U.S. support to create a safe zone in Rakhine for Rohingyas, monitored by international human rights groups with the credible international pressure on Myanmar for their safe return. Foreign Minister Dr. Eke Abdul Momen met with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Washington, D.C. on Monday and discussed the situation. This was the first meeting between the two leaders since their assumption of office in respective governments regarding deportation of the Bangabandhu self confessed and convicted killer Rasha Choudhury from the USA. The Bangladesh Foreign Minister pointed out that he is fleeing just is. Burnt Feni Madrasha student Ustrad Jahan Rafi's physical condition is not fit enough to move her to Singapore, said her physician. Coordinator of the National Institute of Burn and Plastic Surgery, Dr. Shamantolal Shen, disclosed it after holding a video conference with the doctors of Singapore General Hospital this morning. The decision was taken after the video conference, he said, adding, and Nusrat is not in such condition to fly for five hours. The doctors in Singapore also gave us several suggestions. We are following their direction and will update them daily. If condition improves, we will think about her transfer, said Shimantalal. Earlier on Monday, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has directed doctors to send Nusra to Singapore for better treatment. Dhaka North City Corporation, the NCC Mayor Atikul Islam, inaugurated a cleanliness drive at East West University in the city's Aftamnagar area. I think this will encourage others to conduct similar drives in their own area, he told reporters. Atikul said that students can raise awareness among people to build a safer city. We have learned many things from the students and we have shown us that right or wrong, he said. The mayor promised to build a foot over bridge on the main road in front of the university. East West University Vice Chancellor M.M. Shahidul Hassan, among others, was present at the drive's launch. Home Minister Asadu Jaman Khan Kamal today issued a job for a family member of firefighter Suhal Rana, who died as a hero of Bonani fire tragedy. He made the announcement while attending the first Namaji Janaja of Suhal held at the fire service headquarters around 11.30 a.m. this morning. Suhal was the alone bread earner of his family. We will remember his contribution and give job to any capable member of his family, the minister said. The minister also said proper treatment was given to Suhal after he sustained injuries. The Supreme Court has upheld a high court order that directed Shuprabhat Poribahon to pay Taka 10 lakh to the family of Bangladesh University of Professional BUP student Abra Ahmed Choudhury, who was killed in a road crash in the capital. A four member bench of the appellate division, headed by Chief Justice Syed Mahmoud Hossein, passed the order on Tuesday. Following a writ petition, the High Court on March 20 directed Shuprabhat Poribahon to give 10 lakh in seven days to the family of Abrar. The court also issued a rule asking the authorities concerned of the government and Shuprabhat Poribahon to explain why they should not be directed to compensate Taka. Processing John EPJ was brought under control after nine hour frantic effort this morning. The fire broke 
out an iron spinning mill around 9.30 p.m. and engulfed the whole factory, including its uh, warehouses, said Raton Kumar Nath, assistant director of Kumila Fire Service and Civil Defense. On information, three firefighting units of EPZ Fire Service rushed to the spot as it became a throw to bring the fire under control. Seven more units from Kumila Fire Service Station joined the advance team later. The fire was brought under control around 6 a.m., said the official. No casualties were reported. Meanwhile, the authorities have formed a six-member probe committee ahead by the additional district commissioner Jahid Hassan Siddiq and asked it to submit the report within seven working days. The government has planned six-day Eid holiday for public servants. According to Public Administration Ministry, generally public servants enjoy three-day Eid holiday. A proposed increasing number of Eid holiday to six days has been sent to Prime Minister's office. After the Prime Minister approval, it will be placed at the Cabinet meeting. Sources in Public Administration Ministry say the new plan may be effective from Ijul Adha. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News online, visit www.youtube.com slash News. To watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.